Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. I just realized there's gonna be an echo because we're in the bathroom. But this is the only place I can film right now. So let's just hope it's not awful. I have a Sephora haul. Um, I spent like $700 because when I go to Sephora, I ball on no budget. Um, no, seriously, when I go to Sephora, I just never hold myself back. So that's something that I have a problem with, but whatever. It's fun to show you guys what I got. Um, it's from one Sephora trip, and then I got three things online that they didn't have in store. So I just want to show you guys what I got. Um, some of the boxes are like ripped open because I tried it on a TikTok last night. It's really cringy and I can't take myself seriously on there. It's like disgusting actually. Um, so some of the boxes are like fucked up because I was like an animal and so impatient and just like doing that. But follow me on TikTok. Okay, no, I'm serious. Um, let's just get started. Okay, so I got two or five products. Um, I've purchased the Refi cream bronzer. I don't know what shade um, and it was like so orange on me that I I can't use it, but I got the cream blush in Malaya Malaya. I also don't know. Oh there. So I use this today It's really pretty. It's like medium pink with like a coral undertone um, It's very pigmented. I wasn't expecting it to be so pigmented um, but I did really like it, but I did end up having to like take my beauty blender with some concealer and go over it because it was like I put too much on, but it blends out really nicely. And then I also got the duo brush. I used this side for the blush today, um, and then I'm assuming like I could use this for the contour or something, but I did just want to try that. Okay, and the last thing I got online was this Tom Ford Cream Bronzer Illuminating Palette. It's in the shade 0.5. All of the Tom Ford makeup I have, I really love. It's like crazy expensive, but I almost like don't mind because it's like such great quality and the packaging is like insane. Um, so it comes in like this compact, like the blushes that I have from Tom Ford. Um, and so it comes with like a cream contour and I don't know if this is like what this is actually like it just feels like a, a balm like a clear balm like almost like a lip balm so i don't know what that's for because like it's there's really no pigment to it so maybe it's just like a face gloss like a i don't know but i bought it for the contour shade so i got 0.5 because i thought the i think shade one was going to be too dark because i'm pretty fair right now I haven't used this yet. I probably could have done either shade. It blends out really easily, like butter, on, honestly. I only put like a little bit on, but I feel like I could probably either like really build it up or get the shade darker, but I just wanted to be safe and not have like a super, super dark contour. So I'll probably use this tomorrow. Um, I used some of these products today because I've had these products for two days, um, but I got ready so fast this morning that I kind of just like missed a lot of these products, but yeah. Um, I also picked up two foundations. Both of these are foundations that I've had. They're basically just restocks. Um, first, I got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Santa Fe. I've been struggling with my shade with NARS recently. Um, I have like, well, I actually just cleaned out my makeup collection and I got rid of like six different NARS sheer glows and two shades of this that were either just not my shade and won't be my shade or like expired. So the only shade I think of this foundation I currently have is Punjab, which is so yellow on me right now that I can't use it. So this is um, a neutral undertone. So I put it on today. It definitely matches me better, but I can't put it on my forehead because it's too light for my forehead. So. This works for like my face, but if I was any darker, I'd have to get another shade, but. And then I got my NARS, oh my NARS, I got my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This was actually my OG favorite foundation. Um, like when I started working at Sephora, when I was like 18, so like four years ago. Was that four years ago? It was six years ago. Oh my God. So when I started working at Sephora six years ago, that's disgusting. <laughs> Um, this was the only foundation I wore. I would wear shade Ivory, which is the shade, 
and then I would do I think warm beige or something as my contour and I was like super super white but this I can't use it all over my face in the shade I literally just got this almost as like a concealer because recently I've just been doing the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter foundation or it's not a foundation it's like a highlight glow thing I do that all over my face in shade four and then I just like touch up my cheeks where I feel like I have texture and discoloration and like makeup doesn't really like stick to it so i use this i just had to restock this honestly i love it it's an amazing formula but they don't have my perfect shade for my whole face which is pretty annoying but the ones that are a little bit deeper than this are just like super super yellow or super super olive so like there's nothing that's like perfect so i mix and match but it's whatever okay this isn't necessarily foundation but i'll kind of consider it that this is the hollywood flawless filter um i got the shade four like the full size of it uh, maybe like a month or two ago and i have used it every single day whether i'm doing like a full face of makeup for something or i just want like barely bare minimal makeup which has been like my go-to it is so amazing it's like so glowy and hydrating and some people say it's like too shimmery but when i put it all over my face i don't actually think that and i'm like someone who doesn't wear highlight because i don't like the look of like a shimmery face i like dewy but anyways it's perfect i'm obsessed with it but i wanted to try a darker shade to like cream contour because i've just been like over all of my cream contours and just trying to find one that's like i'm obsessed with so i got the mini size and if I like it, maybe I'll buy the full size, but I also feel like this will last a long time. So I got shade 6.5. I put it on my face today and I was so obsessed. I put way too much because like there was just so much on the applicator and it still blended out so easily because it's like a glowy primer. It's not really like a contour. So it's really forgiving. So if you're like, you know, scared to contour or cream contour, this might be your best friend. I highly recommend that for contour or like all over your face. Um, this is something that I've never seen before or just not paid attention to. And when I saw it in store, I like needed it that second. So of course I bought it. So this is actually my first Natasha Denona like actual palette. Um, I think when I worked at Sephora, Natasha Denona was like new at our store. And I remember like wanting one of the eyeshadow palettes so badly and like they had the most beautiful colors they were so pigmented and i was doing like fun eyeshadow looks every day for work anyway so like i thought i would you know it would make sense but they were like 129 dollars or something and i just remember being like i don't think i can so i never bought one but i always like wanted one and then i ended up buying a few of the like tiny mini palettes from her and i use them a few times but honestly i don't like little palettes like that because it's like I don't know i just like don't so i saw this i don't even know what it's called the glam face palette so it's an eye and cheek essential and i got the light palette her packaging is just so stunning by the way so anyways it has fingerprints on it because i used it today here we are in my bathroom so this is it it's like the most beautiful like amazing thing these colors are so delicious i don't even know what to say so but like oh my effing god are you kidding me so it comes with a blush a highlight and five eyeshadows and i was i used this today i just used these two colors on my crease so it's inner corner transition crease outer corner smoke so like it's really like user friendly oh i guess it's a cream blush i didn't even realize that it feels kind of powdery it's kind of like a hybrid it's actually very similar to the refibra blush um and then the highlighter is just like insane which i'm not the biggest highlighter person anymore but like i will still use that so anyways i just like these shades really called my name like the transition color is like so perfect it's almost like a mauvey cool neutral brown and then the crease and the smoke like the matte shades are so perfect they're like what i use every day in my uh, makeup by mario palette but then i've really been like craving like a good shimmer so like these two were like like are you kidding me like i'll swatch that you see that i'm gonna be covered in glitter fuck anyways <laughs> so i used that today and i'm really excited to actually put a shimmer on my eye i'm really excited for it next my new favorite thing in the world tatcha 
Indigo Overnight Repair Serum and Cream. Yeah. Use this in my nighttime skincare routine. Every time I use it, I love it more and more, which is like rare because normally I like get tired of things or just I'm like, actually it's not as great as I thought. This every night, I use this every morning and night now. It was just every night. Now I need it in the morning too because my skin feels that amazing after. I don't know what magic is in this. It's insane. Um, it's $88, so like not one of my cheap moisturizers but like i will continue to spend 88 dollars plus tax on this until my skin decides to hate it so this formula is like nuts like if you are dry or combo and have sensitive ass skin like i do you will love this i'm like i literally have no idea i have no words but also what i learned is i don't like this directly on clean skin so like if you're someone who just likes to wash your face and put moisturizer on, like I don't like how this feels on there because it almost doesn't glide on as as easily. I need to put either my a serum on or like the Paula's Choice exfoliating lotion, toner, whatever. Um, something like that. Like I just feel like it needs something under it and then it goes on perfectly. So a user tip because I did try it one time just on like um wet skin i mean on clean skin because i didn't have any of my polish choice and it didn't it didn't really like wow me as much so yeah another thing that's changed my life and i will continue to repurchase this forever is the hourglass eye cream i actually like would have never been interested in an hourglass skincare product i love their makeup but i just like was like do we need more skincare apparently we do <laughs> I can't with my hair. I actually just got it cut. So like I have these fucking bangs right now. So that's why I like use this to like push them back because I don't have a bobby pin. Anyways, I think it was Brenda Song who used this in like one of her like get ready with me for bad Vogue videos. I think it was her. But I was on the market for a new eye cream. I told myself I was going to finish all like 12 of mine, but I didn't do that because I bought this. This was $95. And I was like almost hoping I would hate it so I could just not want that you know it's actually the best eye cream I have ever tried people love the La Mer one I don't know why I hate it it's so strong the scent that it makes my eyes so watery um I love like Drunk Elephant the Kiehl's one's great Ola Henriksen's great um I was using Glossier for a while they discontinued that apparently um I have like one from Fresh I have eye creams from everywhere and I think my favorite actually was from It Cosmetics. Um, and I remember being like, oh, it's like 46 bucks. I don't want to repurchase that, but I bought a $95 one. So this though, if you have dry under eyes, you will, you, can, I, you have no idea how good this feels. So it's like a thick balm. It's not a gel. Someone called it a gel on the Sephora like reviews. And I was like, ew, I don't want a gel because gel eye creams on me they absorb and then my eyes feel drier than they did before so it's delicious i would put this all over my body if i could i would put this all over my face if i could it's almost like it like the tatcha cream but like five times thicker for your eyes um and my eyes just get so dry like my face get dry but my eyes get like the most dry because i have really bad allergies just like all year round and i'm constantly rubbing my eyes which is so bad i know but my eyes just get so red so dry and i slather this on and i wake up and my eyes are just as hydrated as when i put the shit on so this is a 10 out of 10 for me and i am like using it sparingly because if i have to be spending 95 dollars every two months for this i'll still do it but i'll be very sad about it Next, I got the Olaplex bonding oil because I finished mine. Um, and I like also have a million hair serums because it's like the one product that makes me feel like I know what I'm doing with my hair. Um, and I just like having the different options. I have like five or six favorites. It's like, do you need five or six? But, like you do. Um, and this one is like the thinnest consistency of a hair serum I have so I really like it if, my, if I'm putting it in wet hair or like curled hair because it doesn't weigh it down whereas some serums actually like really thick and heavy because it helps make it just really like 
I don't know, like manageable and sleek and straight. So it just depends like what I'm going for, but I do love this for that. I think this also has, oh, it does. It has UV protection and heat protection up to 450 degrees. So I also like this because if I put it in wet hair and then straighten my hair, it's protected. Okay, this is something I wanted to mention. I put it in this bag. Um, I didn't buy this this Sephora trip, but this is the Makeup by Mario lip liner in the shade Hue, H-U-G-H. Um, this is like my new favorite lip liner. The tone of it is just so good. And it's just like really creamy and not too waxy. So I love this. It comes with a brush. Like I'll never use that, but I love this lip liner. Okay, so I bought some eyeliners. I don't even wear eyeliner, but my boyfriend's mom was like asking me for a recommendation for an eyeliner that does not budge. Um, and I actually didn't have a recommendation because I was like, I don't wear eyeliner. But she said that this one was like amazing. And so I literally just went to Sephora and just bought these also. I bought the shade Coconut, which is like a matte, I think it's matte, like a matte cream ivory shade for waterline. I got the shade Golden Hour, which is like, I think it's just like a gold bronzy shimmer and then i got coco which is like i think this one's also metallic it's like not really metallic but it has some reflex in it i think cappuccino is just a dark matte brown um but they're all waterproof it's the sephora collection 12 hours so i just figured it'd be good to have the eyeliners especially since she said they were good and then i went online and saw and most of them are sold out so I don't know which TikToker told you guys about them, but um, I don't wear eyeliner really in my waterline, but sometimes I'll take like, like, I like like a metallic or something and I just take it under my eye and then I'll smudge it out with like a little brush instead of doing like um, under eyeshadow. Okay, I also restocked my Dior brow styler in 001. I have currently dark brown and universal but I'm pretty sure they just renew, renamed Universal to brown because it's the same color. Um, I've been using this for years. This is the only thing I use in my brows anymore. Um, it's honestly my favorite brow pencil. I've tried like everything. I think everyone just has their preference, but on my eyebrows, this one just works the best. Um, I also picked up the Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty Baby Bake in Pound Cake. I actually wanted the pinker one, but they didn't have it in a mini and I just didn't feel like buying the whole thing because I very rarely use powder. Um, I used this today and I like don't like this packaging contraption. It was like hard to use. And also I don't own a ton of Huda Beauty products, but I remember when I worked at Sephora and her foundation came out, everyone said it smelled like um, an old lady. This smells like my grandma, but like not necessarily like an old lady smell or maybe it is i don't know but it smells like identical to what my grandma used to smell like and i'm like what is that like why does she make things smell like this <laughs> anyways um i used it today i think the formula was fine um i just hate this packaging and i'm gonna probably have to like pour it into something because i just like couldn't i couldn't work it out without making a mess the last thing i got was my birthday gift um it was either this or a laura mercier one and i literally have full sizes of these products and the laura mercier one so i was like i don't even want either of these <laughs> but i just got this because i do like the dewy cream i don't like this rice wash anymore i used to but i think it broke me out so that was my whole sephora haul um it feels really long but i guess this video is not that long so anyways if you guys have any other recommendations let me know because i'm on a shopping kick and um i just like buying things i actually already have like 400 dollars in my sephora card again i'm not gonna buy it it's just in there for like decoration i hope you guys enjoyed i look insane right now but i've honestly just been running around since like 9am and I'm really tired. So yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys later.